Well, here we are early morning in Bethel, Maine, and we're about to get picked up and taken back to Grafton Notch. Yesterday was a zero day here, great town. We're gonna continue on our way today and have another resupply in Rangeley, Maine in four days. So it'll be four days of hiking, a resupply, and then continue on from there towards Katahdin. Climbing another mountain and point three from the summit of West Bald Pate. And then I go down and back up again to get to East Bald Pate. So I reached the West Peak. And as you can see, there's not much to see up here except for some nice trees. It smell good. Like I'm in a, I don't know, a Christmas tree forest. Just a little ways from that peak, I found this view, and that's where everybody else is sitting and making arrangements for the next stop in Rangeley. This climb up the east, Bald Pate Peak, is a fun one. I came from here down this way. I'm headed up. Here's what I get to see on the way up. Now I have to climb up, up, up to the top. And here's the East Peak with the sign that's turned over probably by the weather. So it was a nice hike up. So this is East Bald Pate Peak in Maine. I'm still excited that I'm in Maine. You know, as I wrap up this series of videos, and they're gonna come to an end soon, and wrap up my YouTube channel, because surprise, when I'm finished with this hike, I'm not gonna post any more hiking videos. I've said everything about hiking, I think, that I wanna say on my hiking channel. Uh, I thought maybe on the way to Katahdin, maybe I'll have some wrap-up thoughts. Start with the gear that I'm using. You know, I called it unique one time, and somebody properly pointed out that I'm not unique at all. People have hiked through hiked in sandals before, Seth Orme and probably many others. People have hiked through hiked with a tarp before, Ray Jardine and probably many others and on and on. But you know what I wanted to do I guess was to show that you if you look at Facebook and you look at YouTube it seems that there's just one way to do a through hike, one way to do backpacking, one way to do solo backpacking and on and on there's just kind of a set list of gear that you're supposed to have and when i started doing long hikes i started largely with that set list of gear although i used a tarp and i ex began to experiment and it's much more fun i think if you realize that you're not really limited to the things that you hear about most frequently on facebook and youtube and you can actually kind of change the way you hike and backpack by doing by experimenting you know change something up every time you go out and that's what I did, and I ended up where I am today with uh, kind of uh, a different way of through hiking, different from most people, although not different from everybody. And I have tried as I've come along uh, the way from Georgia to Maine to highlight some of the people that I've met that also have uh, different through hiking styles, and that's been very interesting. So I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. I've said that many times. I'm just trying to show that there are more possibilities open to you than you might think and if you start to experiment a little bit it can be a lot of fun. Camping very near here. Hey y'all. Hey. What do you think of our camp spot? Nice. The pond over there. Here's my setup for the night. Just a bug net because we're gonna spell a good weather. It's not supposed to rain for a couple days. Via this morning, the Mount Washington weather station said last week that all this haze was being caused by the forest fires in California. Wee! <laughs> 
This is Luke's Hello, sister. Hello. Hello. Good, how are you? Selena. Hi. Hi. I didn't know there would be so oh. many people here. Oh. This is Luke and Liz's dog, Miss Piggy. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. How are you? Have you met that one that came up? And this is Tim. So Luke is leaving us for a week. If you watch Liz's videos, you know that Luke comes out for two weeks out of every month. And then he goes back and works a little bit and then comes back out here. This time though, he's only going to be gone for a week. He's going to come back in a week on next Saturday and meet us, I think, in Caratunk and be with us for the rest of the trip all the way to Katahdin. I can't wait. See you in five days. Five days. Five days. I'm six. Six days. I think like seven. I'm sitting. I'm 0.3 miles from the summit of Old Blue Mountain, which is today's big mountain. And I'm going to be glad to be done going up today. I made it to the top. Not too much of a payoff though. A lot of trees. This is set up for the night. I might throw up a tarp later. This guy looks a little, eh, I don't know, it's not supposed to rain, but who knows. We're set up without Luke tonight. Of course, Luke has become a very, very good friend over this hike. And you know, one of the, I really liked that uh, video that I did about the whites. It turned out well, but one of the things that was missing from that video was Luke's reaction when I showed up at Lake of the Clouds Hut. And what happened was I went inside with my camera and saw Liz and she jumped up and down and then she started crying which was really really nice and sweet of her and it made me feel good and then the uh, the crew there that's in charge of the place came out and told us to shut up because we were making too much noise and the paying customers might have been offended because they could have still been sleeping so we had to be quiet and Luke was in the bathroom so I turned my camera off and Luke came out of the bathroom and I didn't get the reaction shot Luke's reaction shot so Luke was excited too but I didn't get to show it and uh, it's the one regret I have about that that little video I did about the whites. Hi. Hi. P1, how you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good. Right on. Smashing some calories. Or There's some trail magic here at the side of the road, but look at this. I've never seen this trail magic. It's a mirror. You can see how I look. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't fit quite right, but I still like it. And Liz, people have made comments that they think that it's odd that we should be hiking together. We've hiked I don't know, the majority of the trail together. Initially, we had YouTube in common, and that's a big thing. If you've ever tried to hike with somebody who does YouTube videos, you have to put up with hearing the same thing over and over again as they try to film a section, a statement, or a couple of sentences. I, I repeat myself endlessly. Or you have to say to the person, hey, could you go in front of me? Could you go behind me? Because I want to film something. So we had that in common. We're both planners. This uh, whole way through, either... I plan the next section or she plans the next section, uh, whoever gets to it first, and we show it to the other for editing, and, and uh, we have similar ideas about how a mileage and where to stay and when to start, seven o'clock. You know, in addition to that, we both have artistic personalities. People have heard that I'm a lawyer, but I really think of myself as a writer and an artist, and I always have. And on top of that, we're both entrepreneurs. She has a hair salon. I have a law firm with Andrea, but you know, if you're an entrepreneur, there are many things in common besides, uh, you know, what it is that the the business actually it is. So it's no surprise at all to me that we've ended up hiking together for quite a long time. Liz and Yelp are up there. Different sites, they're eating dinner. 
here's where I'm set up. It's supposed to rain for four hours or so. There's a chance of rain. And after that, it's gonna clear up the rest of the night. So it's just a simple A-frame. There's a group of kids over there headed towards a road crossing that will take us to Rangeley and a resupply. Just a five mile day today. And we've had Yelp in our group for a month or so. And we knew him before. He was hiking with some other people. When Lydia was out, Yelp was around for a little bit. So Lydia has met Yelp. But for the last month or so, he's been hiking with us. And he's another very positive member of the group. We're all pretty positive, which makes hiking together fun. I'm probably the least positive because we all want to get done. But it seems like I say it more often than anybody else. And uh, Yelp is interesting because he's never seen any of our YouTube videos. He's never seen any of the videos where he's in them. And he says he's looking forward to getting back to England and watching them. There's somebody else who's hiked with us sometimes named Peach from Atlanta. And he's behind us now. And we all really wish that he was caught up to us. Um, I don't think he's going to by the time we get to Katahdin. But who knows, maybe he will because it would be great to have Peach with us when we summit as well. Made it to Route 4, where we're going to get picked up and taken into Rangeley. Stay there overnight and resupply. I'm here first because I left early because I wanted to make sure that I didn't hold everybody up. I'm a little slower than they are lately, and I like, I enjoy going a little bit slower. So, so that's where we're at. Well, Liz did a bunch of planning last night from here to Katahdin, and we know when we want to summit. We know the date, and it's going to be a little bit rough for the next couple days, and I feel a little bit like I'm falling apart. But I'm going to be tough, and I think I'll be able to make it. So Yelp, I think the world wants to know why you're hiking the AT. <laughs> why I'm hiking the AT? Um, quick answer, or medium answer. I hiked the Camino de Santiago. Um, I realised what it does, it changes you for the better. And then my dad mentioned about the AT, which I kind of put on a back burner because I thought it was such a big thing, I wouldn't do it. And then I was going to go to India, do yoga, and then nothing was burning, you know, nothing was hitting me. And then I opened a book and it said, the Appalachian Trail, and then I got a fire in my heart, and I thought, okay, I gotta do it. You and glad you did? Without a doubt, without a doubt, without a doubt. 